All right, mark your calendars two years from today. <laughs> Northeast Ohio will experience something more than 200 years in the making. It'll be a total, total solar eclipse. Do we have calendars for two years? I don't think we do. <laughs> well, while yes, it may seem like a long way away, people are already preparing for the once in a lifetime experience. And right now, News 5's Jesse Schultz has more. Sometimes the stars align and Cleveland is thrust into the spotlight. We look for opportunities. Um, sometimes they're really big ones like the um, NFL draft, like the NBA All-Star Game. Destination Cleveland has a big hand in getting those big events here. We're focused on bringing people to Cleveland. We're focused on on enhancing the destination experience. But on April 8th of 2024, hundreds of thousands of people will flock to Northeast Ohio to see Mother Nature's work. And it won't be the stars that align, but the sun and the moon. It's the moon covering up the sun. That's all it is. It's rare. It's worth it. Jay Reynolds is a research astronomer at Cleveland State. He says a total solar eclipse is really a sight to behold. It will be dark here for about almost four minutes. That's a long time. When the sun is completely blocked, you won't need these. You just look up and go, oh my gosh, the birds go to sleep. It's dark. It's incredible. The last time Cleveland witnessed a solar eclipse was in 2017, but it was just a partial eclipse. And even then, people were in awe. We did a very nice event in 2017, had about 10,000 people come out. Emily Lauer of Destination Cleveland says the total eclipse will be right after the NCAA Women's Final Four tournament here in the city. We can showcase our, our sports town as well as our great outdoors. She expects a lot of people to make their way to Northeast Ohio, and they're already preparing. So it's really a coordinated and collaborative effort because that's how we're going to make the most of this, right? Reynolds says he's not preparing, but rather counting down to experience something not many are able to witness. It's a very once in a lifetime opportunity to see something like this. Reporting in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz, News 5.